Welcome in, you trader nerds. Real traders don't trade alone. They trade together with their fellow nerds. If you have not joined us, look in the description below and join us on our Discord because it's really kind of fun. All right. Welcome in. Let's look at the market. You want to? Market was up this morning, and it was up like 0.33%, and now we are down again. Will the market ever ever lift its little head ever again or are we just in a permanent bear situation well let's look why don't we the ad if you have wanted to look at this y'all this is what you call you could have scalped now here we had divergence divergence is where you go wait a minute the ad is going down but the market is going up oh be still you should have shorted the market right in here, you should say, what the crap? That is not right. And then the AD, you could have ridden that little puppy all the way down. Now, the overnight low is serving as a little bit of a support. We're under the VWAP, under the hourly mid-band, and under the 15-minute opening range. But look at this, the overnight high and the overnight low. And it is maintaining the overnight high is resistance, the overnight low is support. Isn't that interesting? how that's just kind of wavering between the two. So we'll see if this continues to serve as support or if it uh, if it breaks and we go down farther. Uh, average volume, average volume, nothing to see here. So let's go over here and let's look at all the stuff that we can look at that will tell us what the week's going to be. Y'all, we had an inside of the week. We had an outside week. Look, we had outside here, outside here, and we are... You know, who knows? It's going to be inside uh, the expected move or outside the expected move. Normally, if you have a week outside, you may have another one outside before we, uh, you know, uh, before we correct and have an inside week. So we'll see if it's an inside week or not. It's hard to tell. Uh, let's look at our uh, daily chart. Daily 200-day moving average. We are still above the 200, right? So, you know, we're technically still in a bull market, even though, you know, we're so the daily says we're still in a bull market. Let's look at the weekly chart, the 10 versus 20 exponential moving average. Oh, wow. Look, it's uh, the, the 20 is serving as a little bit of support here. The 10 is still above the 20. We still call this bullish, right? Nothing to indicate that it's yet bearish, but it's getting close, y'all. And let's look at the monthly. 10 month moving average yeah we've had a big move to the downside but everything looks good let's look at the volume profile which tells us a lot look at this isn't it amazing how many times we see the 50 percent mark or in this case the 150 serve as a pivot point and indeed it was here we got up to the 150 line, the 4405 that we were targeting. When we got down here, we said, hey, y'all, probably going to the 4405. Indeed, it did. It served as resistance. It bounced off of that, and now it is raising its little head, maybe just a little bit, and we'll see if the 4405 still holds. But we are, ladies and gentlemen, we are fairly priced. Don't let anyone say that we're oversold. We are not oversold. We are fairly priced. If we get in this area below the 4336, we will be oversold. Bobby, how do you know that? Because I've seen this thing work time and time and time again. Now, some of you are experiencing a little bit of drawdown in your net lick. And to me, it's nothing to worry about because it's just paper losses, just paper losses. And we expect this. It happens quite frequently. And to me, a lot of times it happens during this dog days of summer when school's getting started back and everybody's just chilling around. A lot of times you'll see this. So nobody be worried about it at this point yet, right? Everybody stay focused on the prize. And the prize is making sure that we keep our naked puts out of the money. We don't want those to go in the money. We want those to expire to a point that we're able to make money on. All right, so let's look at our, uh, let's look over here, see how we're doing on the day. Well, this doesn't look as good. Let's look at our linear regression while we're at it. Linear regression has fallen out of bed, right? So we fell below the 50 moving average, 100 moving average, we're still above. Uh, we would anticipate some reversion back into the 
linear regression channel, but it's not a given. We can stay here and this can flatten out. So nothing to see here. Here's what's interesting. Remember, if you're looking at the velocity of a move, or if you're looking at a move, look at the velocity of the move. And the velocity of the move has been, I don't know, relatively flat, right? I don't see a big this because it did initially right through here. But then from here on, what happened? This has kind of, you know, it's, it's broken down a little bit. So I don't see huge velocity of a downward move at this point, right? We don't see a velocity of the move down. So, you know, I think things are all right. I don't think there's any impending doom coming our way. Now, interestingly enough, we did have a 99% probability of profit in our portfolio going out for about 71 days forward. Now we're only at a 93% probability of profit, which means there is now a 7% chance of loss. Our break-even is now just below about one and a half standard deviations rather than going down past the two standard deviations. Okay, so let's check it out and see what our net lick is for today. We are at 38,469. 38,469. Let's see if we can play Rico. 38,469. Fire up the band, Rico. Beautiful. And let's see, our deltas are 159, theta 111, 159, 111. Good, I like my theta, my delta going down, 111. And I kind of like this, keep this around 0.2%, you know? And I guess VIX is still around 17 or so. And our buying power usage is 23,161. We're using 60% of our buying power. Interesting, right? 23,161. That's a little more than I want to use. 21, what was it? 21, 361. No, that's not right. Hold on a minute. Let me get it again. 23,161. 23,161. Okay. So we're at 60%. You know, that's fine. I guess what I could do is go in here and just pare down a little bit of my positions. Let's go to my positions. Uh, here's 10-day stuff, which is probably mostly um, put debit spreads. Let's see here. These are mostly all naked stuff. It looks like there's one long in there or something. Uh, 41.50, 38.50. It looks like that's a put debit spread 300 wide. But... Let's see what our profit and loss on the open and some of these are. Let's see. So we've got $71 here profit on these two 4,000s. 34.8% profit is giving me six theta and it's giving me 8.35 delta. So what's this? We're going to close this one for a profit just to take a little risk off the table. All right. $13.75. We sold it for what? $20 or more. So when you start selling stuff for 20 or more, you know you can take profits. There we go. We're out. There you go. And so our deltas are now 151 and our theta 105. Let's put that in. 151, 105. Good. 151, 105. And that is how you do portfolio management. Isn't that cool? So nobody's panicking. And I hope you're not panicking. Don't worry about your net lick so much. Worry about your positions. Now, Let's go to the Crimson account, which has been our best performing account. And let's see how we're doing over here. So this is Crimson and Clover over and over. Here we go. So net licking day trades, we are at 3049. 3049. Let's go over there and put it in. 3049. Rico, fire up the band. Beautiful. Up quite nicely from the last time that we checked it. And our deltas are 116. Our theta is 60, 116, 60. I always like recommending shows, y'all. I have tried Apple uh, TV for a month. And y'all, I watched a couple of good shows I'm going to tell you about. There's one of them that's called uh, Hijack. That is really, really good. It's an Apple original. You need to watch that. 
but the one that I am intrigued with now, oh, and I watched uh, Ted Lasso. That's the reason I got Apple for a month. I was like, I was going to binge everything for a month. And y'all, there is a show called Severance that y'all need to watch. Yeah, Ted Lasso, great, man. You need to watch Severance. Oh, Hijack. Yes, yeah, Stacey was good. Have anybody watched uh, uh, Severance? They put you, they separate your brain, and your work self does not remember who you are outside of work. And your home self, which they call your Audi, does not remember your work self. It is freaking bizarre, and it's so good. And I want y'all to watch that. It'd be really neat when we talk about it. So it's called Severance. Because I thought it would be neat. I thought, oh, someone getting fired and they're upset about their severance pay. No, they sever your flipping brain. Oh, oh. It's really cool. All right. It's kind of a sci-fi type thriller. It's just weird. I like it a lot. So let's see what our thing is here. Yeah, I love Ted Lasso, love Hijack. I kind of like that Apple TV. I may do without Netflix for a couple months and keep Apple uh, TV. I've, I found some good shows there. In my one month free, and I get a one month free till October the fifth. I guess that's longer than a month, isn't it? Anyway, whatever uh, it uh, ends. So our buying power effect is twelve nine. So let's just call it thirteen thousand. Thirteen thousand. Oh, be still, my heart, Bobby. You are at forty three percent, my son. Uh, look at that. I've got my theta right kind of where I want it to be, the point two. And our, you know, our buying power is okay. We said we could go up to 50 in this account. So let's look at our trade tab and see if there's anything that we should close. And lo and behold, I have closing symbols here, which means it is time for old Monsieur Bobby to go to Applebee's. So let's see here, the 4,000s with 39 days left. Uh, it's saying close it. So let's go look at them. See what my biggest winners are here. But let's get a little Applebee's money in the account. So here we go. Uh, naked puts. Let's see which one's the most profitable here. Oh, yeah. Look at there. The 3975s are a little more profitable. So let's close those. 3975s uh, at 12. We're going to try to be greedy. We're going to try to get it for 1175. Come on. Fail me. Fail me. That's okay. I don't have to be filled. So 39.75 going out at 12. Here we go. Get me out of here. And we are out at 12. So let's go put those in. 39.75s at 12. Here we are. 39.75s. That was my biggest winner. And we're out at $12. Did daddy make Applebee's money? Now remember, I need to have $60 for me and Beth and probably $120 for me and my family. So let's see. Eight. 21 23. So old sweet Bobby is printing up $79 and 12 cents. What do you say we get thrown out of an Applebee's? I'd love to. I would love to. So we got plenty of money there, right? And that's how you do portfolio management. And I mean, it's really simple. These dog days of summer, it's uh it's very, very, very mundane. Now, let's look at our positions, our individual positions. You know, we've had the market kind of going against us. Now the market's back up. It just can't make its mind up, can it? Um, it looks low if you're if you're if you were willing to scout, look at this. We've got a series of going up. It looks like this held. Looks like we're going up at least to VWAP. If you want to scalp you a few dollars, there you go. It's coming on up. Probably gonna go back into this area, you know. That's probably, if pot odds-wise, if it were in my written trading plan, I would probably do it. You see it's leveled out. This was support. You know, may want to take it on the next little uh, uh, thing. You might want to do that. What was I going to do? Oh, I want to look at my individual position. Right? Remember, what does your plan say? Our plan says, hey, you don't have to monitor anything until these deltas get to 30. Okay. I got a 16 delta, 16 delta, 16, 16, 14, 13, 12, 12, 12, 11, 10, 8. There's nothing to do. Nothing to do. What are you going to do? Well, if the market keeps going down, this gets 30 delta. What I might, I'll have the prerogative, but not the obligation to roll that out to a further explanation or expiration. So we're at 60. What other expirations do I have? Well, let's say in the MES, 
I could roll that 60 out to 71 days. I could roll it out to 88 days. I could roll it out to 116 days. I could roll it out to 151 days. And if I had to, I could roll it out to 179 days and sit it out. Sit it out. So it is a beautiful day to trade. It's a beautiful day to allow theta to decay. And that is, after all, what we do. Let's put it on here for the new one. Let's see. Who said that they were new? It was uh, Jen, right? Yeah, Jen, Jen. Jen, Jen, what in the crap is this? Where's my little pen? All right, let's do this. Jen, Jen, let's go through our steps, right? Here's what we do. We sell premium. We are option sellers. So we sell option premiums and we collect the premium, right? The second thing that we do is we do it with a high probability of, of, of success, high percentage probability of success. So if I'm selling a nine delta option, I have a 91% or greater probability of success. I like those odds. Then we just sit back and let theta decay. As it did over the weekend, you saw our net lit go up over the weekend with theta decay. Fourth thing that we do, is just where we get make our money, is we manage chaos. And y'all, even though the market's been down for a couple of weeks now, this is not chaos. It's just a little grind down, no big deal. Manage chaos. If crap hits the fan, keeping our buying power uh, low enough that we can survive it. And then we rinse it and we repeat it. Five steps to your options trading success. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude our session for today. I will see y'all tomorrow.